Hey guys, so it's been a while, and said there was going to be changes, and here's one of them. First PS3 game. So, um, what I'm wanting to do now is, um, I'm going to be sticking to my old games, you know, like, um, old slash underdone games, so I'll still be doing stuff like, uh, uh, you know, like Tales games, and like Serious Sam, and Fatal Frame, and etc, etc, you know, like the underdone stuff, but then I'm also going to be having separate stuff where, you know, it's newer games, so it appeals to people who are more into newer games, so there you go. Everybody who likes the new games can watch these, and people who enjoy these and the older games that I upload will have double the content to watch, so there you go. And I can think of no better PS3 game to start with than Uncharted. So, let's just do it. Because Uncharted's awesome. And Nathan Drake is awesome. Because he's so much better than... Like, everybody calls him the, the new... Or maybe not the new... Well, okay, yeah, they call him... The, like, the new Indiana Jones. Or, like, the next best action hero. He's not the next best one. He just is the best one. I love Nathan Drake, and he's so, he's so much better than Indiana Jones. And I know, like, you can't get away with saying that lightly, but I really do think he's even he's so much more enjoyable than um, but then you know Indiana Jones. So yeah, Uncharted, Drake's fortune. Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh yeah, that freaking song. Ah. Best freaking character, best character theme ever, and this coming from the guy who plays the hell or played the hell out of uh, Tales of Symphonia. God, it's such a good song. I wish I could just stay at this menu the whole time, but no. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start a new game because um, I was just, I've, you know, obviously I've played this game before, and I just. You know, I started at chapter one just to get used to the controls a little bit again. So, if I start from the continue, you know, I'd be past the beginning. So, new game. Keep the bonus treasures? Uh, no. Um, now, okay. I'm going to be doing this on easy, but it's not be... Okay. <laughs> I'm going to contradict myself right here. Just watch. This isn't to... That's not to say I can't beat it on normal because I actually did beat it on normal but the thing is like I don't know if it's just me or this game is actually kind of hard later on but really it gets pretty damn hard later on like in the ending stuff it gets hard and like Uncharted 2 and 3 I actually had to bring it down to the lowest difficulty just to enjoy it so this is Uncharted. It's one of my favorite PS3 games, so I'm going to play it on easy so that I can have fun with it and enjoy it, because I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone. So, easy. Because I don't care. And here, I'm going to save over this, because I don't really need the old one. And I will, I'm not going to be getting all the treasures, but I will be showing, um, if I can remember exactly where it is, I'll show the big reference one. And there are some really good... Um, Naughty Dog references in this game, so I'll be able to, I'll point out the ones that I actually know. So, yeah. That's a little loud. Don't want that caught. I don't want that to catch on the, uh, the headset, you know. There must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing unto the end until it be thoroughly finished yields the true glory. Search Francis Drake, 1587. Yay. Quotes. <laughs> Oh, subtitle. Oh, no, no. On. There we go. I am here off the coast of Panama where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile 
An empty coffin. What the hell? The first reference to old Naughty Dog stuff is actually their wetsuits. I'll explain later. <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. Oh, Nathan Drake, I How love the you. hell they find us out here? Uh, these guys have been telling me for weeks. Thought I lost them. What'd you do to piss them off? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Okay, so, um, oh, get off. Okay, so it is a cover-based third-person shooter adventure thingy. These guys don't like you much, do they? Oh. Less talking, more shooting. So, yeah, a lot of the uh, gunfights are going to be from behind cover. Up, and, um, you know, obviously, because we're hiding behind cover. Um, ooh, jeez. <laughs> now, the reference with the wetsuits is they are Otzel brand wetsuits, which is a reference to the fact that um, Daxter from Jack and Daxter. Oh, yeah, this is where they teach you how to do melee. So, square, 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 square. Um, it's a reference to the fact that um, Daxter from Jack and Daxter is an Otzel. So it's like uh, an otter weasel combo. So that's the reference with the wetsuits. And I thought that was so cool because the first time I played this, it was right after I had finished a, a Jack and Daxter game. So I was like, oh my god, Otzel, that's so cool. So yeah, I liked that a lot. And then eventually you find a precursor orb. So I'll be trying to show that. So yeah, um, if you kill enemies with a brutal combo, which is X triangle, ow, X, whatever. <laughs> if you hit them with X triangle X, they will drop double the ammo. So that's a useful little tactic if you want to try to take advantage Sully, of that. Where are you? What? I'm not really What the hell are you talking about? Oh wow, he died in two shots. <laughs> uh, where are you? Oh there. <laughs> I, I shot him in the gut and he's clutching at his neck. Okay. Nice. There we go. So yeah, uh, where's that double ammo? Right here. See, it, it says very small times two down there. Ow, 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 ow. And yes, I know, I was standing there just showing you the times two. Okay, that's not good. Whoa, jeez. Stop Get going around in circles. Here. That's cheating. Oh, God. oh no! Damn it! Whole ship's gonna blow. We gotta jump. Oh wait! What are you doing? Okay. Come on! Okay. Go! All right. <laughs> under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elaine Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. 
<laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. What do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Ho oh, ho, oh, so you found the coffin. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. It's still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over-budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. Hey! Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. Denied! Oh well. <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> well, that was different. Although, I must admit, equally as strenuous. <laughs> well, hang in there, old-timer. We're just about there. You know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? He moved, but by the time he figured it out, I was... Nate, are you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. Eh, why waste my breath? God, I love the conversations between Nate and Sully. But then again, I love most of the conversations in this game. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to shoot. <laughs> my bad. Um, so... Oh, God, where do I even start? Basically... Oh my god, these games are like movies. They're so good. And I realize that I'm like, oh, I'm going to be doing new games and stuff. And I know this game came out all a pretty long time ago. When was it? I don't even remember when this game came out. But it came out a while ago, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, I'm doing new games, but whatever. It's new. It's definitely newer compared to what I normally do. You really so, think Francis Drake oh. came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England. Yes, I do. 
That's what his that's what his book said. What do you not believe the book that he himself left in his own coffin? Oh well. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Another goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. Well... I think we're going to go ahead and take a little bit more of a look around next time on Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. So, I'll see you guys then.